Alright everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. So as I figured, that was the wrong way to go north. They say, the guy said, do not go north, that you will die up here with enough time regardless of your level. So, you know, that was great news to hear. And so far we're starting off very great heading to where we're supposed to go. Now, party's already getting beat up, we got a freaking back attack, you know, we're just off to a good start here. Amazing start. I'm hoping this will do enough damage to where at least, yeah, he'll be able to kill that. The Gluneth probably won't kill his. Oh, I did advance, so I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Even in the back row, he don't care. That's my Gluneth. And I just like to, like, the guy that was just raided a little bit. Like trying to get, like trying to figure out where I was, really. And it's just all about, you know, don't use these glasses here, you know, and just referencing, you know, what classes you should be at this area. And it's just how I just roll with the same class the whole way through, which might explain, you know, some of the problems I'm having. But I try these classes, and I just think they suck. I mean, you know, Dragoon. I would have loved to play as a Dragoon, but. I mean, he was hitting like 300, you know? Why, why would I play as somebody who only hits 300 when I could play as a dude who hits 1800? I mean, I just don't see where that, the sense and why, you know, you wouldn't want to do that. I mean, it did say hug the coast. But the coast, eh, it's kind of over now. So now what do I do? Just keep going. Oh, I was hoping you get that extra boom hit in. Angus. Oh, right here. Is that it? Yeah. I think I gotta go in here. Goldor Manor. Yes, this does sound right. Uh, the door is locked. The fuck you telling me look at that for? I don't I have no key. Now, I'm not sure how, you know, popular this video is going to be or not. So I don't know what the feedback I would get on it is. But I am wondering if I should play Final Fantasy 5 and 6 Steam version or should I emulate them? I know that they're pretty much the same thing. Except the Steam versions are slightly like updated it's still the the old style and I'm pretty sure most of the stuff is the same but I want to say they added like some extra stuff some bonus things and some random fun stuff like that I don't know the full details <clears throat> and that's kind of why I'm asking should I play five and six on Steam I might play seven eight and nine even on Steam I'm not too sure I do have eight on Steam but I don't know I kind of do like the feel of playing these on Steam I don't know why and I think it might be playing them on the PlayStation I don't know because I own seven and eight already on uh, PlayStation Store so I could play those no problem and I only own eight on Steam but I could get seven and nine no problem and then 10 I'm obviously definitely playing that on PlayStation 4 because I have the HD thing so and then we're getting into you know way down the road somewhere I mean this this one's gonna take long enough and then four I'm gonna play four and four the after years which I'm definitely looking forward to that because I've never played the after years so that should be really really cool hmm. go ahead and cure the party yeah I'm definitely looking forward because four I probably say is one of my favorites I really did like four the four on DS when it, when it was the Game Boy Color or whatever it was on before I don't know for sure but I wasn't that big of a fan of it but when I played the DS one I loved it Which I'm sure a lot of people probably hate me for that. Like, no, the original is so much better. 
Once in a while, I guess, you know, everybody has their own taste. To me, it wasn't. And I'm not one of the people who's all about graphics, either. But I can't say really why, oh, Golden Sword, why I liked it better, but I did. What is up with all these Golden Swords? Uh... What is this? Is every single one of these a golden sword? It's looking that way. Oh no, wyvern claws. Okay, is it a good sword? Is it like the beast? Uh, no, it's trash. So what is the point of it? Does it unlock those doors in that main hall? That's a possibility. Gold bear. Ooh, got those crits. This should hit hard. Ooh, 25. Yeah, I think the highest I've seen was 38, and it was from Lunith when I was doing the training. Which, this is going to be my last part I'm recording for today, so I may even do more training after this part okay those, those have to open up those doors there's nothing here what the heck got some coins lost gold okay the game might be losing it a little bit here just take it and put it in your pocket And always use more money because once I find good like magic spells and you know some maybe amazing weapons preemptive strike okay so basically we should all be attacking first but who knows these games seem to have stuff you know kind of mixed up you know, back row, don't worry, they seem to be the main targets. Yeah, sure, they take a little bit less damage, but they're, I swear, they're the main targets. You did good, kids. My job levels are about to be, like, maxed. So, is that how I get in these doors? I mean, I'm assuming magic key. No magic keys is how I get in these doors. Like, did I have to randomly pick the right one? Ho like, if I do, hopefully I got it right because I don't have any more of those. I don't like this place. What is the point of this? Back attack. Great. No, we're going to advance because we need as much power as we can get. You're going to cure now. Okay. Not that Lunith ever needs it, but you know. Yeah, it hits so hard. Well, Lunith will heal that back right here, so no matter. And cool, he still took it out. Which means Ingus should be able to take him out since he's already damaged. And that's how you do it. I'm just hoping I don't run into a dead end here because I have a feeling I'm going to. I could have just. No, yeah, I was going to say, I could have just cut right through there. I think, the, I think I see a reflection of stairs. So that's a good sign. Just guard. Let them take them out. They could do it perfectly fine. 
Even though he missed quite a bit at the end there. Okay, I'm just hoping that I can clear this place. We got a cutscene, so that's a really good sign. Is that who chained up our boat? I mean, he's gold, so... You will not take my crystal. Instead, you will take a sound thrashing. Uh, I kind of wish it would have healed up. Not that I'm in that bad of shape. And I do think this is the guy. Because that name sounds a bit familiar. Okay, heal him. No, you just attack. Physical damage probably does next to nothing. Okay, at least I still hit pretty good. I don't care. Attack him all you want. He is going to heal it right back, you idiot. I love it when they're stupid. Look at that. And then Black Mage is going to heal his damage right back. I'm going to hit him with Blizzaga. Boom. That's it. Okay, so... I guess it's the opposite. I expected him to take uh, magic really hard and be super resistant to physical, but it looks like it's the opposite. God, stop bullying him. No! Okay, it's confusing everybody, so hopefully it misses. Okay, well, it missed everybody but the one who already went. So that's good. My hardest hitter still about to slash you up, boy. See if Thunder hits any harder. No. So, Black Mage. Guess what? You're on item duty, buddy. Okay, he's confused. Do I have anything that does anything with that? I do not. What the hell do you use on Confusion? I don't know, so even though the chance of it, you know, doing anything are slim. No! At least they do less damage to themselves. If you remember on Final Fantasy 2, you got confused or whatever, you hit yourself. You were doing like 900 or whatever your attack was. You were doing full-on damage to yourself, and it sucked. Job level, Ingus gains a level. God, stay away, you. If I can't have the crystal, neither will you. Ha. So you're gonna break it? Why are the crystals that easy to break? Huh. He broke it. The crystal is mine, ha ha ha. By the heavens, what's going to happen to the world now? We've got to make our exit and find out. Wait, first things first, let us acquire this key and free our ship from its bond. Take that. Tain the chain key. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we really gotta manually walk out of here. Ain't that some crap? So then... Like, I'm just confused on him destroying the crystal. Like, you wouldn't think you could just punch a crystal like that and destroy it, but... What do I know? You know, I would think they're like super protected by magic and whatnot. No, I'm just gonna punch it. And then, like, he still took it with him. So he, like, broke it and teleported away with it. Which means we'll probably see him again somewhere. But at least I get my airship back now, so it won't be walking on the world map for 20 minutes. Trying to figure out where to go. Why do I not see anywhere to go? Am I just stupid? 
I'm loving how my party is becoming tough. It's just that white mage can just get like Kyriaga or something that heals a lot more. I seriously will pretty much say I'm invincible. Like as long as I keep playing the game decently well, I can't lose. So hold up. So what if I didn't have the key? Yeah, it's not the golden swords. So if I didn't have one of the mystic keys, I'd be screwed. Well, that's not reassuring. I need to get me some more of those in case something like that happens again. Okay, just guard so we can speed things up here. Just out of my way, kangaroos. You don't want none of this level 30 party. No, oh, hike. Can I take more than two steps? It's this stupid thing. That was like a boss earlier. That thief guy. When he went to the fire crystal. I like what he turned into. It was like this thing. He said this one sucks. I mean, that hurt, I guess. I think that's how I kept dying when I was training, was due to that fire breath crap. I'll tap. Well, why am I trying to press backspace to... There we go. Just because that fire breath hurt a tiny bit, so... We'll heal it up. Okay, we're almost back. And then we'll have to see if somebody tells us where to go. I know I said I'd look up in the guide, uh, you know, the next couple places, but this guide I'm using, it's just, I don't like it. I hate trying to read it. Line, don't worry, because we can heal up here in a minute anyways. Still hit pretty well for being blind. You use the chain key, that's right. You're back. Did you find the crystal you were looking for? Yeah, but the dude broke it, so I don't know what the hell I do now. I heard that Gil and Delilah were married once a long time ago. Wait, let me rest up. Then we'll hop in my ship. Now we can kind of, you know, fly around, figure out where we should go. So it's not so bad. I slept like a log. Of course you did. You don't ever have a bad sleep. You should go to Saranoia if only to see it once. Well, I'm gonna see that guild dude. He's been, you know, a wise guy. So he might tell me where to go. I'm sure you don't. You dumb looking dude. How are you liking them more? We got some real characters here, don't we? Yeah, shut up. Yo, dude. I need some advice. Good luck on you. Go screw yourself. I mean, yeah, sorry, Noia or whatever, but that don't seem to be somewhere I have to go. At least not with the way she said it. Like, you know, just because you have to see it. I'll get all my stuff. And I don't know where to go, so. Map it up. Like, what's this other continent over here? Know where I can go? I mean, according to the map, it looked like. Okay, no. Uh, 
Well, let me see if I can find a city, because I'm not going to land unless I see a city. A city or a path that looks like I might be able to take it. But I don't. I mean, this looks kind of... Whoa. Can I, like, walk up here? No, okay. But do we gotta do something with the wind crystal and then they'll let us go there? I mean, there's definitely gotta be something up there, though. Look at it. Okay. Well, we have that continent way up in the top left corner, too. But I don't know, I just feel that neither of those is where I should be right now. Well, there's a town right there that's impossible to get to. So I don't know, we must get like a dive or something to go underwater. The same thing with that giant thing that was like floating in that water. That like monster that I said I wanted to go face. This must be where one of the chocobo forests is. Okay, we've been that way. There's nothing there besides this shrine. Right, we can go all the way up north here. Where the guy said, do not go because you will die. Very reassuring. I mean, I seem to do pretty fine up here. You know, that goes nowhere. So what the heck is the point of that? I don't know. I made it all the way up here and didn't die. I mean, I'm still handling every monster they threw at me. Is this? Ooh. Okay, well, we're not going there. So what is that place? We got some stone statue dudes guarding it. Okay, am I like at the end of this continent? Pretty much. So we're going to head over to this one over here. Which I have a feeling this is probably where we're supposed to go. I mean, look at this city. What the hell? What is that? Can I go in there? What is this place? Uh, what is this? No, don't get into a fight. No, we'll figure out, you know, whether these things are too, too strong for me to be here. They don't seem like they would be. Well, no, don't, don't guard because we don't know what we're getting into. You go ahead and guard. Oh, um, I can one to kill it with Lunith. They have less than 5,600 or whatever that was. Okay, so this don't seem like it's out of our league. So this is a good thing that we're on the right path. I mean, granted, I was trying to get on this anyways, but... Like, what is this? They just blow up my airship. Them assholes. I mean, so it seemed like this was probably the right way to go. These assholes. Why'd you do that? Everyone alright? What happened? Obviously, a cannon shell disabled our engine, but I do not know... Why they would fire at us? The Enterprise is in pieces. What are we going to do now? This wind, it carries the sound and scent of war. Must be on our best be on our guards. Oh yeah, I ain't got my ship, so let's not head out there. Wait, can I save while I'm out here? If so then yeah, I'm gonna come out here. We're gonna save this one on slot two to be on the safe side. Okay, now let's go back in. Not ending this part yet. Let's figure out what's going on here. You know, we're, we're allowed to just be right in the middle. None shall pass. Leave the premises at once or suffer the consequences. Okay, might as well be scared of you motherfucker. Hmm? Hmm? Might as well be scared? 
I just, no, screw them, go in. We have no choice but to fight. If we lose, we'll be executed. Okay, so you all are saying the same thing. So then basically, I just leave here then. Okay. Do I go in like one of these dozen towns down here? Okay, so this is that Saronia that the one lady told me to check out. Saronia will burn itself to the ground if this war lasts any longer. Spears and lances are very effective against flying enemies. Hope I have none of those, so... I'm not very effective against flying enemies, it would seem. The tower in the middle of this district is called the Dragon Spire. The Dragoon's greatest treasure is fabled to be kept at the top. Are you talking about this? Am I allowed to go in there? Well, I'm not allowed to go in these. Shoot, I'll climb the top of this. Not that I have a Dragoon anymore, but I'll take whatever treasure they got. Guard, guard. Attack, whatever the heck that looking, that weird looking thing is. It's like a jacked up squirrel. So obviously we're still not, no, you don't stone me. Go screw yourself, flying bull, Taurus, whatever the heck you are. Well, at least he didn't get stoned too, that would've been bad. Take him out. And then Lunas came back from stone, so we got the experience. See, good, see, that's, that's good. The game's working in my favor. Finally. It's about time. Like, it's supposed to be hard to reach the top of this, like, it's supposed to be some kind of challenge. So it's a joke. God, still getting stuck on everything. Uh, which way? Oh, look at this. Got this sandworm. Here, why don't you blast that sandworm? Nobody's hurt. Oh, never mind. Ingus is. Lunith, but, you know me, I don't care. Fully healed. Whoop, there we go. Easy enough. That's why he's my best friend. Oh, it's gone. Oh, and with that extra hit, yeah, you done. Yeah, I'm gaining some levels. Oh, dang. So we got like a full Dragoon set of armor here. I thought I had the Thunder Spear already. Oh, Phoenix. Down, that's cool. Dragon Helm. Dragon. So we got two sets. I'm gonna just... It's over this way. More? Holy crap. Oh, hey, you know, you want to make Dragoons. Here you go. Have a party of Dragoons. And they gave you Phoenix Downs because they suck, so, you know, just in case you need to revive them. Just guard. So this city seems like it's going to take too much time to explore. It's alright, I'm fully healed. I love it, I really do. That Blood Sword is amazing. I even when I get a weapon that's way better, I don't want to lose it. Like, I think I'll just always hold on to the blood sword and just replace whatever the other weapon is. I think it'd probably be a way better idea just to do that. Yeah, you're gonna give me a problem leaving here, aren't you? I haven't even found a place that I can heal up yet in the Saronia or whatever. I don't know how I would say this place. There's gotta be a maid shop here. There's got to be. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Well, not too bad. I expected worse. I mean, I was guarding, but still expected worse. Hey, white mage, it gives you something to do next battle. Yay! But someone tells me you probably won't even get a chance to use it, so. It don't matter that much.
Oh no, she got to use it. For that crap heal. Let's put in a Kiraga or Kiraja or something. Anything. No, stop getting stuck, okay? So I conquered your stupid little tower thing. You got something to say about that? You're going to climb a dragon spire? Are you mad? This place is crawling with monsters. Yeah, sucky monsters. It was nothing. So there's nothing here. I hear that Prince Alice was expelled from the castle. Oh, cool. Why am I way down here? Wait. Oh, okay, so this place is not as big as I thought it was. Well, here, get off of this. What's up here? Northeastern. Do you guys have, like, an inn or anywhere I'm allowed to go and stay? Oh. <gasps> the door is tightly shut. Yo, dude, why is this door locked? No one enters Castle Saronia without the king's permission. But if he was expelled out, how's anybody gonna get his permission? Okay, so apparently I gotta complete this story arc or whatever before I'm allowed to buy any of this, like, any mage spells or anything like that. But can I at least go in the inn? Or are they really gonna lock me out of there too? Okay. Uh, that's not so bad then. Play the detail map. I'm actually gonna buy some of these. I don't know exactly what it means by that, but oh, and hold up. No, I'm not even gonna bother selling. I was gonna sell some stuff, but I don't know. I just decided not to. And I might have read that wrong, but did that say 2,000 gil to stay here? I know I just you know kind of skip, 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 skip when these people talk, but that seemed like a lot. How much did you say? 320. I don't know where I got 2,000 from. Okay, now it looks like this person right here is probably of importance for me to talk to. But, I'm actually going to end this part right here. So, we're going to go ahead and back to the safe slot. One, because we definitely seem like this is a good place to be. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. See the one upload the next part. And look at that level 59 monk. Amazing. That's why I don't switch.